for more than 150 years, going back to President Lincoln's solemn vow to care for him who shall have borne the battle. The VA healthcare system has been embodiment of our national promise, yet today, some are proposing to make it just another choice among health care providers, while others are calling for the VA to be downsized or eliminated. But for millions of veterans wounded, injured, or ill from their service, there is only one choice for receiving the specialized care they need, and that is a healthy and robust VA. Mr. Chairman, while far too soon to settle on how to reform the VA health care system, and integrate non-VA care, we can at least outline a framework for rebuilding, restructuring, realigning, and reforming the VA healthcare system. First, rebuild and sustain VA's capacity by recruiting, hiring, and retaining sufficient clinical staff, and by funding a long-term strategy to, re to repair and maintain VA facilities. Second, restructure the many non-VA care programs into a single integrated extended care network which incorporates the best features of FeeBase, ARCH, PC3, and other purchase care programs and provide this program with a separate and guaranteed funding source. Third, realign and expand VA health care to meet the diverse needs of future generations of veterans, including women veterans. This should include new urgent care nationwide with extended operating hours. Fourth, reform VA management by redesigning its performance and accountability report and restructuring its budget process by implementing a PPBE system, which stands for Planning, Programming, Budget, and, ex and Execution. Mr. Chairman, this framework is not intended to be a final or detailed plan, nor could it be part of one at this point, but it offers a new pathway towards a future that truly fulfills Lincoln's promise. That concludes my testimony. I'd be happy to answer any questions.